from uh, water reuse uh, and wastewater, we move to irrigation with the presentation of um, from Cinalberto Bertozzi and Fabio Paglione. Fabio, where are you? Um, they are from Burana Land Reclamation Board. Um, the title is Burana Board, a history to tell about preservation of water resources for irrigation. The, it, the, the presentation is from Fabio Paglione, yeah. 15 minutes, okay? okay. Okay. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Fabio Paglione, and I work for uh, Burana Land Reclamation uh, Board. Um, today, I would like to tell you about uh, history of water resources uh, management. Um, everyone knows that uh, Mesopotamia was the richest uh, area in the world, and thanks to the presence of uh, two natural uh, rivers. Uh, Tigri and Euphrates. Emilia-Romagna uh, plain is the same. There are a lot of natural rivers and our plain is one of the most fertile zone in Europe. And between one river and another, yeah, um, a land reclamation board operates in water resources management. So, uh, Burana board, uh, just a few words. We have four offices. In the quarter, we make plans, uh, we design new pumping or irrigation systems, but all this is possible thanks to the help of our colleagues, which work in our three local offices in Mirandola, Bondeno, and San Giovanni in Persiceto. So, our main activities are in three microfields, water drainage, water supply, and soil conservation. I mean, uh, we use a canals network, a huge canals network, to drain water out from farming areas and urban centers, avoiding floods. At the same time, we use this canals network uh, to deliver water for irrigation to agricultural holdings. And at last but not least, we ensure soil conservation. I mean, we act to defeat landslides, subsidence, and hydrological instability. This is our territory. We manage an area of about 250,000 hectares. There is the plain, the hills, and the mountain. Uh, the irrigated area is about 220,000 hectares. These are our irrigated district two in the plains, one in the hills. In the mountain, we only provide uh, works to defeat landslides and uh, hydrological instability. So, let's talk about safeguard. Here you can see two photos about fluid. On the left, you can see during a fluid. On the right, after. Here, there is an embankment instability. In that case, we need to act quickly in order to reshape and to restore the stability of the embankment. In case of another fluid event, or we need to use that canal for irrigation. Now, just a few words to talk about flash floods, because nowadays, climate changes are a fact. Flash floods, uh, comes in case of an excessive rainfall. I mean, an, an, an intensive excessive rainfall could be the cause of a peak in discharge. So all this water is drained by our canals network. And this stress our network. But this is, only, this is not the only cause, because we have to think about melting snow. Uh, last days and at the beginning of March, uh, there were a lot of snow on our Apennines. Then an increase of the temperature in a short time was the cause of this melting snow. So the same flash flood, like an excessive rainfall, hit our network and we need to work hard. Now, about irrigation, 
on, yeah, it's here. On the left, you can see a photo about one of our canal where we deliver water for irrigation. So we manage this two-fold system. And here uh, you can see some family having uh, funny times along one of our uh, canals. So uh, Burana Board promotes uh, new irrigation systems to save uh, water. Here you can see the drop and the macro irrigation. Uh, at the beginning of the presentation, I compared Mesopotamia and Emilia-Romagna, um, just to say that water is a richness. And to save our quality of life for next year, future generations, we need to learn to use it more consciously. Because our predecessors were able to transform the threat of water into opportunities, and they defeat completely marshlands. Drought. Uh, drought is uh, uh, the worst problem uh, for, uh, for our life because it means financial losses in agri-food productions, but uh, the main important uh, team is uh, uh, the quality and uh, the quantitative aspect concerning about drinkable waters. And at last, uh, it could be the cause of a deterioration of terrestrial, river, and wetlands ecosystems. Here, just look the graph. Uh, in 2017, there was uh, an important uh, dry uh, summer. I mean, we fortunately, we didn't have this minim minimal water level in Po River, like in these years, because uh, we were saved by a few uh, rainfalls at the end of June, and if I'm not wrong, at uh, half of July. But if you look at this graph, you can see uh, a, a scary thing, I mean, uh, Groundwater level in August was about three and a half meters under the maximum level for rot system of crops. So um, this means that uh, there is only water into our canal network or into natural rivers. Natural rivers, but uh, poor river because after we talk about uh, problems in Panaro. So crops have no water from the ground. Here, we are in our hills and islands sub-district. Now we talk about a macro-irrigation system to save water. Uh, the water supply point of this pumping system, this irrigation pumping system, is Panaro River. 